Well, good morning, afternoon, night. Oh, I got it all messed up. Good morning, afternoon, evening, night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. From me, Bishop Bishop. Tonight I don't have anything too fancy to tell y'all. Oh, I could natter on about some ridiculous comments that one of the uh, political candidates for president made this week, but everyone's already nattering on about it, and some of them are quite funny, and some of them are quite astute, and, well, but after a while it gets a little boring, because the point gets made. I'm not sure what I want to tell you tonight. Part of it is I just started a new day job to pay my bills, and I'm tired. The job is physical, which is actually good. I kind of need a physical day job to kind of balance all my mental activity, all the sort of intensity that happens in my life. I'm shelving books, which is actually quite nice, but it is tiring. And it meant I came home a little worn out. I'm not quite ready to get my thoughts all together. You know, I guess I do have something to say, which is that we all have limits. And we have to pay attention to what works for us. There are times to push. There are times to give the extra 10%, over 100%. But there are times to take your time, to let your body get used to something. Once I get into the swing of things, I'll be able to do this job pretty fast and furious, which I'll like. But I got to pay attention to my no longer young body. I need to give it time. I need to adjust to a more active work life. That doesn't make me a loser. It actually makes me a winner in the long run. I often wish, and this kind of relates to my vermin last week, that we were all better at understanding our limits. The limits that we each have personally are collective limits. The limits of our planet. Limits are good. I think that creativity happens when grand vision meets real world limits. I think that's where the art is. And the art of our lives is made when our visions for ourselves meet our real limitations. But we prove our creativity and our courage when we grapple with those limits, sometimes push against them, but sometimes embrace them fully. That's my hope for each of you tonight, that you are able to think about one of your limits not as a bad thing, but as something that helps you work in this world, as a place for your creativity, as a place for this kind of struggle that actually helps you grow. And then I'd like you to think about one of our collective limits, and maybe one of the limits of the planet, and think about how we can embrace that, not as a negative, but as a positive, as a sight for creative innovation. Well, that's enough for now. Until next time, take care and keep on keeping on.